we could which one do you want to do first out of these well i and i see a question here from uh one of your uh viewers you know what's the best crossover for prime pentacle for example so what actually happens in this in the system when when we apply a crossover well the av processor uh, applies a, a high pass filter to that speaker channel at the crossover frequency and unless it's adjustable, which is very rare, it's a 12 dB per octave high pass filter. Now we say, well, how does that, how does the base get to the subwoofer for that channel? It takes a duplicate signal for that channel. So let's say we're looking at front left, prime pentacle, 60 hertz crossover, um, 60 hertz high pass on the speaker. And then that signal gets sent to the subwoofer output jack and it, and it gets low passed at 60 hertz. It's a 24 dB per octave on the low pass side. So that's how the speaker subwoofer crossover works for all of the speaker channels. So no matter what the crossover setting is, you're high passing the speaker, you're sending a duplicate signal to the subwoofer for that channel, you're low passing it at the same frequency, again, 1224 slope, uh, and then, of course, we've got the LFE channel, uh, which is a standalone channel on the soundtrack. So all of that gets mixed together and sent uh, out the subwoofer output jack. Wow. Yeah. So what is the what is the LFE, the point one channel? Like, what's the difference? Because on Den oh, and Rath, I see well, two can, places to sit. Can we can we just normalize how <laughs> how we talk about? The, about the LFE channel because I see all these people in the Facebook groups. And, oh, I have a, a 7.4.6 Atmos <laughs> app. I'm like, you have, I'm like, can we, can we just say, how do you want to do it? What, I, how do you I, say okay. I, I already had oh, an good. idea because I was, I've been thinking about this. How about, <laughs> how, how, about how about we try um, 7 point or 7.1.4 is a ch uh, channel configuration. And, okay. But my speaker configuration is 7.4.6 or whatever. Right? Yeah, my speaker I, configuration. You're so right. I, that has been a pet peeve of mine forever. Um, I, I just, I finally gave up on it. Um, <laughs> yeah, right. The original meaning of, say, let's say 7.1.4. What does that mean? Well, it, it's, it's, the, it's the audio channels in the system. How many subwoofers are in this? Who cares how many subwoofers are in the system? The LFE channel is one. There's one LFE channel in the soundtrack. Um, so all the subs get the same signal. You could have two. You could have three. You could have four. doesn't matter. Um, so the original intent of, say, 7.1.4, left, right, center, right surround, left surround, surround rear, the two surround rears, and and four overheads, and the LFE channel. And, and, the, and the one the one. The one guy. Yep. So corner. people call it the subwoofer channel. It's not the subwoofer no. channel. It's the LFE channel. And, low, and LFE stands for what, Ed? Low, low frequency effects. Low frequency effects. That's it's right. A, it's a special channel in the soundtrack reserved for low frequency effects. Now, here's another re rhetorical question. If you don't have a subwoofer specified in your system, where does the LFE channel go? Anybody know? Oh, Nowhere. No question. So you're telling me if I set up a system with front left and right center and right surrounds and I tell the AV processor I don't have a subwoofer. Well, are you telling me that the AV that the LFE channel disappears? No. Yeah, I, when I when I, I, mean, I play it on headphones, LFE just doesn't play at all. <laughs> well, I know that the AVR is going to try and change your front left and right to full range. It won't so, try, it will. Yeah. Um so so the the codec for decoding the spec for decoding says if there's no subwoofer in the system the lfe channel gets sent to the front channels and what? they are forced to full range and to your point they have to be on full range yeah. so the lfe channel doesn't just disappear it's it's in the audio track so that's why when people say oh it's a subwoofer channel no nah, not really it's the lfe channel let's call no. it what it is it's a separate audio channel in the soundtrack reserved for low frequency effects it is sent to the subwoofer if you have one specified have one, in the yeah. system. That's interesting. If you don't, it's sent to the fronts. I'll have to test that on my system to see if that's that's it actually will. what happens because yeah. uh, on headphones it's different. On it headphones, it it just if there's no uh, if it's on headphones it just doesn't play LFE. <laughs> yeah. On our test tracks, 
when it says it, we do a call out 7.1.4 9.1.6 call out and when it says lfe just nothing happens <laughs> <laughs> yeah well you, you, my headphones can go down to i think they say five hertz or something ridiculous you should check yeah. on it check check, well, yeah, check you, on your own system and you know see what? see how it's see how it's routed but that's the that's the dolby spec is that's yeah. where the lfe channel goes if you don't have a sub specified so everybody sees this under base in mm -hmm. the Denon and Marantz, LPF or LFE. Well, what the heck does that mean, right? Mm -hmm. And and the default is 120. Mm -hmm. It's the low pass for the LFE channel. So let's okay. assume there is a subwoofer in the system. The LFE channel is only sent to the subwoofer. And you're telling the AV receiver, low pass the signal for the LFE channel at 120 hertz. Right. And don't yeah. allow it to play higher. And, um, and if, if there's any confusion out there, a low pass filter is very simple. It lets the lows pass. Just think, just think about it that way. If right here, high pass filter. It lets the highs pass. Yeah. Low pass filter lets somebody actually just commented on one of my videos yesterday saying, wait a second, if you set this to 120 and then your speaker to 60 aren't you miss, missing 60 hertz of bass I was no. like, i'm like no 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 you've got it backwards and that's it's the thing the speaker subwoofer crossover frequency is completely different than the low pass for the lfe channel because the lfe channel is is its own entity it's not shared with any of the speakers if there's a subwoofer in the system it goes to the subwoofer so the reason it, it, it on these Denon Amarants, you say, well, I can adjust it from 80 all the way up to, I think, 250. I'm going from memory, right? Does oh, it go can, that high? I can try it right now. But why would you set it to 80 if there's content in the LFE channel at 100 or 120? Because if you set it to 80, you're discarding that content. It's actually in the soundtrack. It doesn't go anywhere. You're telling the receiver, you know what? Don't play anything in the LFE channel over 80 hertz. Right. Well, what if the mixing engineer mixed something in there at 110 or 120? Because that's been the historical mixing standard for, for decades for the LFE channel. How high do we want to mix in the LFE channel? 120. Why? Well, it's going to become obviously directional if we go up much higher, higher than that. that. Yeah. And most of the time, there's nothing in the LFE channel uh, really above 80. But every now and then... If you look at a soundtrack, you'll see it. You'll see some upper bass in there. So I, my recommendation is leave it at 120 because you're not truncating or lopping off content that could be in the soundtrack. There's not really any reason to set it to 80. Um, there's this evergreen debate on AVS form about it. Well, if I set it to 80, the subwoofer is less localizable. Okay, uh, that's true because you're telling it not to play above 80, but you're also discarding content that's in the soundtrack. So you might like it better, but I wouldn't call it more accurate. There's a difference. Right. I'd right. like to hear it if it's in the soundtrack. I'll, so take, if, I'll take my chances on localization. So if you have it set to 120 and you have your other speakers set to 80 hertz, it'll still play from 120 hertz and below. Yeah, because level, that level. setting only affects the LFE channel. Yeah, That's okay. why it's in the base menu. It's all totally right. independent from the speaker subwoofer crossover frequency for all the other speaker channels. And that's why it's separate. It's a separate menu setting. That's that is a, a, a point of confusion for a lot of a lot of users is what the heck does this mean? And how, how if I noodle around with this, what happens? Well, it only affects the LFE channel. Has so, nothing to do with the speaker subwoofer crossover. Doesn't have anything to do with the bass, <laughs> right? So, so basically, set it to 120 and never change it ever again after that. Uh, that's Done. my recommendation. Done. All right. And, and, and you're right. It uh, the the numerance goes up to uh, 250 and the lowest is 80. Hey, this right. is what we should do, Chana, on our next uh, on our next project. Let's just put some hidden messages like. At, at like 250 hertz in the LFE only. <laughs> Into the LFE. <laughs> see, <laughs> see. <laughs> you're right. That's a good one. That's yeah. a good one. If you, if you set it to 250, you're going to hurt anything? No, because there's no. nothing in the soundtrack. Probably there. nothing there. Right? Yeah. There's nothing there. That idea. Oh, so who cares if it's set to 250? See, the real problem messages. is if you set it to 80. <laughs> hidden messages in the <laughs> LFE. Right the room. Yeah, put, put an Easter egg in there. At, at, From at, 200 at, to, to 250 hertz. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Uh, <laughs>
All right, everybody, we do the Daily Hi-Fi podcast every Monday, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So make sure you join up to the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash daily hi-fi, and we will see you there for the big show every Monday. Yeah.